You are listening to For the Fighter in You, United Fight Alliance, For the Fighter in You. Brian Guadagno is a data-driven senior executive and consultant with more than 10 years of success across the financial services. Management consulting and wealth management industries are just some of the areas he specializes in, leveraging extensive experience in financial leadership for client-centric organizations. He specializes in startup to established small-scale to mid-cap companies requiring expert assistance with corporate structure, growth strategy, business planning, operational strategy, and capital raising. His areas of expertise include financial analysis, financial management, financial structuring, business development, project management, underwriting, franchising, investment, consumer goods, investment, alternative investments, and distressed transactions. You might say, how are we going to be talking about nutrition with this guy? Well, we're going to find out pretty soon. Brian, welcome to the show. Yeah, thanks for thanks for having me, man. Thank you, Jordan. With all this financial background, how did you end up in pasta? Yeah, so I had I actually had a gut issue in 2014, um, and it opened my eyes to the way that I was consuming food. Uh, I went paleo for a year. I healed my gut issue, and that was kind of my indoctrination into what I call my healthy living journey. Um, since then, I was in capital markets. I was doing a lot in, in the financial space. I worked on a number of bankruptcy transactions. Then I started getting into consumer goods um, and food and beverage, and uh, and 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 really, I was kind of keeping my eyes and my ears open. I knew I knew I wanted to be an operator. I knew I wanted to uh, to do something in the consumer goods space, and I was really looking for opportunity and waiting for opportunity. So, um, really, uh, when when I saw this this kind of category, you know, it's skinny. My current company. Um, we sell a, a gluten-free ketogenic pasta alternative. It's zero net carbs. It's naturally gluten-free. Uh, so it, it's, it's a low glycemic pasta option. I noticed that a lot of other companies weren't hitting the market the way that they needed to be hitting it. Um, the product wasn't approachable by a mainstream consumer. It had a stink, you know, it kind of had a smell, uh, like a fishy odor. It was slimy. It didn't really present well. We said, all right, we need to figure out a way to make this approachable by a mainstream consumer. Took out the odor, uh, got rid of the slime. We made it look more like pasta and we put it right on the, right on the, in the pasta aisle of the grocery store. Um, so it's discoverable. You know, we, we kind of noticed that one in seven consumers in the United States alone eats a low glycemic diet. Um, but less than 1% of available pasta options were low glycemic. A lot of people don't even know that this is an option for them if they want to eat uh, you know, a low-carb, low-glycemic diet and still consume their, their favorite pasta dishes. That's definitely one of the pain points, Brian. I notice I've, I've tried keto adapting a couple of times. I've been paleo uh, on and off. One of the pain points, and I'm Italian, one of the pain points is mm. giving up my beloved pasta. And uh, so you really, when I saw this, I, you know, the first thing I thought was, okay, someone's done it, but is it that slimy stuff that didn't work for me? So it's funny yeah. that you address that because that was exactly my concern. Yeah. And, and look, like, are, are we all the way there? No, we're not all the way there, but we're getting better every, every kind of iteration of the product. And it's, it's significantly better than, than anything that was available four or five years ago. So um, I think anyone who's, who's kind of new to the category and, and, or maybe has tried some kind of low low carb pasta alternatives in the past. I think if they give our product a shot, they'll be really pleasantly surprised. Now, the actual substance, and and correct me if I pronounce this incorrectly, is called konjac. That's the yeah, actual. That's how, can you tell us that's what how that I is? Pronounce it also. Yeah. Oh, that's, okay. That's okay. Correct. Yep. Yeah, it's basically a, a it's a it's fiber. It's a root vegetable. Um, what we do is we grind it into a powder, mix it with water. Uh, add a little bit of starch and 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 then press it into noodle form and cut because that creates a gel that is kind of a the water and the and the and the fiber in there. Um, and and what's really great about it, I mean, we talk about hey, what is it? You know, is it is it chemically low carb? Is it you know is it chemically enhanced? It's it's ninety five percent water. That's the reason it's so low in carbohydrates. The only thing there are two grams of fiber. It's got 10 milligrams of sodium and it's basically just water is the rest of the product. So given the fact that it's literally a different material, how close is it in taste to actual pasta? 
in terms of taste, it's 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 there. Um, in texture, it's a little bit different. It's maybe a, a you know a standard deviation from the mean, um, <clears throat> but it's it's close enough for a lot of consumers. <clears throat> and what I find, um, if I mix it with like a like an Alfredo sauce or a bolognese, um, sometimes I can't even tell the difference. All right. Well, that's powerful. And I think this is a good time for me to let everybody know I am in no way uh, sponsored by or being supported by Skinny Pasta. I am doing this show because I have gut issues myself and I've been dealing with a lot of pretty nasty brain fog after I eat mm. debilitating brain fog. And some of my naturopathic doctor friends are telling me, you're um, you're getting too much of a glucose spike after you eat. And they've been telling me I've got to keep my blood sugar low. It's the spikes that's flooding the brain, creating the inflammation in the brain. And then the brain, you know, literally it's releasing amyloid plaque to put out the fire. You don't want the amyloid plaque in the brain. So I got to keep my blood sugar low. So if you can make something that tastes great and pasta and it's a low glycemic type of uh space i think you could be on to something uh yeah. but i totally relate to what you're saying about the you know the gut issues i don't know what your gut issue was but mine is they call it i guess leaky gut which yeah. means the junctures in my stomach lining are separating so when i eat it's like i don't want to eat anymore because when i eat i get stupid for three hours and you know i can't do that i got kids to raise i gotta, I gotta work so this, this is a, is, is that what motivated you to do this? Yeah, m mine was esophagitis. So it was uh, the, the sphincter that connected my esophagus to my stomach was totally eroded. I was drinking way too much coffee. I was, I was overly stressed. I was, I was not sleeping. Um, and, and so I actually, I had to train myself to breathe a certain way in order to close the, like to put pressure on my esophagus to close that gap. And then obviously eating things that were that were um, more more basic and 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 alkaline in nature, so that uh, less 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 acidic. Um, and then also things that were anti-inflammatory. I got a hack for you too, because uh, I had a similar thing, and this one is magic. You're gonna love this hack. So at night, this is gonna sound really weird and goofy. My kids make fun of me, but at night, tape your mouth 100% shut. Tape mm -hmm. it shut with tape just tape it shut and then you have bands you can get like at a costco get the heavy duty bands they go across the nose they're tape and they open up the nose you want to breathe through your nose all night long there's a lot of reasons or you can go go on youtube go on google unbelievable for the brain unbelievable to protect your esophagus to protect your throat to pre because when your mouth breathing all night long you're waste you're acidifying all that stuff you just talked about Hey, if you guys are trying to fix your health as much as I am, you might want to take a look at Viome. That's V-I-O-M-E. I've been very impressed with their precision and with their efficiency. I took the tests uh, about eight months ago. It's made a huge difference. It gave me a complete list of what my superfoods were, what my enjoy foods were, avoid foods, and minimize foods all based on my personal biochemistry. But more than just a precision nutrition company, they're on a mission to prevent and reverse chronic disease by digitizing and decoding each individual's biology, starting at the gut microbiome, looking for the root of chronic diseases. Science has found a link in the dynamic ecosystem of microbes that live within the gut. They have an amazing list of tests. I couldn't believe it. Uh, saliva test, stool test, blood test. It tells you your gut health, your cellular and energy efficiency, your inflammation response, your immune system health, oral health, brain and cognitive health, heart and cardiometabolic health, and biological age. Discover the best foods for your personal biochemistry. Probiotics for your health with advanced RNA-based testing for your personal microbiome, addressing the root causes and supporting overall wellness and longevity. If you're tired of trying to guess what's going to work for you and you're tired of just feeling junky, check them out. I'll leave a link in the show notes. I'll also leave a discount coupon in there for you for up to $110 off any test you might want to take. That is called UFA 110. All right, let's get back to the show.
That's actually a great, I've seen, I've seen that hostage tape stuff on Instagram. I, I, I've, I've honestly been curious about trying it. I haven't tried it, but I, I will. If, if I didn't realize that that could actually impact um, my esophagus as well. So, yeah, there's a lot of different things that it, that it does, um, you know, and we're just, we're out of shape, man. We're all out of shape. That's why our mouths come That's why we snore. That's why, you know, my wife is kicking me 10 times in the night, you know, cause all the, strange ass noises that come out of me when i'm asleep but the t that's the other benefit taping the mouth shut and opening up the nose your snoring goes down by 90 percent. so your wife yeah. will love you yeah <laughs> well, what, well you're I, I you can hear me clear in my throat too i saw I, that i i found i discovered that recently <clears throat> that that's actually because of uh that's because of i'm still having a little bit of reflux i actually went to i went to my ear nose throat doctor i thought i completely cleared this you know so I went to my ear, nose, throat doctor uh, about a month ago, a month, month and a half ago um, with I had a, I had like a lingering cough and a lingering um, uh, just kind of throat pain. And, and I thought it was sinus issues. And, and he basically told me it was reflux. So uh, I, I went and got you no know, typically I'm I don't want to take any kind of medication, but he told me, look, just trust me, take take some Nexium and and get yourself right. And sure enough, I, I did that and it, it went away, but that told me that even though I wasn't experiencing broader, like now I, now I have a little bit of it cause I just ate lunch and I guess it was a little bit sweeter than I, I, I typically am used to eating. But, um, I, I thought I had, had largely kind of cured any kind of reflux that I was having, but apparently it's still there, even if I'm not feeling the symptoms of it. So there's still work to do, to, to be done for sure. Yeah. And, and one of the other things um, on the acid side, as I understand it, um, and you're probably already aware of the whole probiotic and prebiotic. I'm wondering, wow, a skinny pasta might be an amazing prebiotic because it's a slow, uh, it's a slow fiber. It could feed all your good guys in the gut, it's, which will help it, with the acid reflux. Yeah, th that's potentially true. It's, it's an insoluble fiber. Um, I'm not, I'm not super schooled on, on, uh, how the difference in fibers impact that. Um, that would be something to, that would be something to look into though, for sure. Yeah. That could be, I mean, another great service that you're providing people because, um, man, the whole probiotic, uh, space, once you start studying it, you realize we have a, we have a microbiome in our mouth. We have a microbiome in our nose. We have a microbiome bi biome in that whole track you just mentioned you know the nose mm -hmm. all the way down to the sphincter there's microbiome yep. all throughout the gut all throughout the stomach good guys and they're used to getting whole foods they're used mm -hmm. to getting non-processed foods alive foods that are alive foods yep. that have their own bacteria yep. um and i'm you know just starting to get my brain around it and trying to trying to fix about nine things that are broken and uh but it's fascinating you know it, it really is yeah i have this uh I haven't taken it yet, but I have a have a, a, a gut test <laughs> that um it's supposed to measure all the all the prebiotics and probiotics that uh get out that, that I'm that I'm devoid of. <laughs> I did the biome. Are you familiar it, with the biome? I no, this one's called biohacks. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's basically it's 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 called the gut zoomer. It's supposed to test everything within within my gut and, and, then, wow. and then create kind of custom, custom prebiotic, probiotic blends based yes. on what, what I'm missing. Very similar to Viome. Okay. Viome does an RNA, DNA sequencing. It they, they do blood, they do poop, spit, then like a 300 page questionnaire. And uh, you get <clears throat> hundreds of, of data points, um, probiotic data, data points prebiotics what you should have for your particular signature that's the whole thing you know how you know the frustration you may have gone through too are eggs good or bad for me on tuesday eggs are good for me on friday eggs are bad for me why why can't they make up their mind and well you, now they're starting know, to realize because everybody's different do you do you follow uh you follow i mean you follow 10x health systems you familiar with that 10x Oh, is, is that, that um is that what, what's his name? Grant Cardone? Yeah, Gary Brecka with Grant Cardone. So, Gary does the reverse stuff too, right? Yeah. I don't he know does. those guys, but I think he does everything. Yeah. Okay. And then and then they also do like hormone stuff and they get into that. But uh so I know 
So part of the reason that we were like involved with the MMA in any way, shape or form. So I don't know if you know this, but last year we actually sponsored the world MMA awards in Vegas. We carry uh, that on NBC. We carry those. I'm good friends with Dave Farah. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. So, so, um, so we, so we sponsored that last year and, um, and, and, and our samples made their way over to Dana. Um, and Dana I actually saw put, that bro. Yeah. And Dana put our product in his fuck it Friday video. And when I actually met him, he's like, he, he, I mean, he's not, he's not bullshitting. He like, he actually used our, he's like, ah, oh, I just had your product for lunch. Um, Whoa! so, and him going keto was because he did, uh, he, he got, I, I think a test done by, by Gary and the 10 X health systems. And they basically said they projected out cause, cause Gary's Gary's, um, his storyline is that he comes from big insurance and, and he was, he was responsible for, um, I guess evaluating mortuary tables. Um, so they, they can actually predict how long people had to live based on certain genetic indicators. So the whole, the whole, um, the whole 10 X thing is based on certain genetic markers and how your body methylates inputs into outputs. And based on that, how long can your body actually continue to function? Um, and, and, get a pretty good estimate on when you're going to die. <laughs> so, um, so I think that, you know, that's, that's part of the reason as, 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 at least how I understand it as to why Dana went keto. Um, and so, you know, just interesting. Did that he tell him he, he was toast or something? He, did he say like, did he, did he say, uh, Dana, you got, you got six years left. I mean, what did, why did Dana from, do it? From, yeah. From what I, from what I read, I think it was pretty dismal. Yeah. <laughs> it was, <laughs> it was, it was enough of a kick in the pants for him to be like, fuck, I got to change the way that I'm eating. He had and a big uh, waist, you know, yeah. he started getting, do you notice he started getting big, like big, big, big. Yeah. And, well, and I you, noticed his waist was big too, which is visceral fat, which is no good, man. When you cut, when you cut weight, this is my brand manager in the office always tells me, like when you when you cut weight, you look bigger anyway because you got a smaller frame and you're leaner and, and you can see your muscle definition, your muscle tone. Um, so he's probably got a little bit of that going on too. Um, That's why when you see when you watch movies and you think these guys are monsters and then you see them in person and they're like 172 pounds, you're yeah, like, they just got. I thought you were a monster. No, he's got just, great definition. Yeah, yeah exactly. great definition. Yeah, yep, yeah, it's yep, amazing. Yep. It's I think amazing. The Rock is actually a monster, though. I think. Yeah, uh, he's actually I legit. Think, monster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was watching that Chris Hemsworth uh, Limitless on Nat yeah. Geo. Yeah, and uh, that, that dude's probably a monster for real. He's, too. He goes. Yeah. He's, I got to go up to two sixty for for Thor. I'm like, oh, okay, he's legit. Yeah. Like that's yeah, you're, you're six big... five, two sixty. Yeah, he's legit. <laughs> yeah, you're a big guy. You're, you're a big just, guy. You're not just big on camera. Yeah. That, by the way, if you're into this stuff, run to go watch that series. Is it that good? Oh, Brian, it's it's. I it's, heard good things about it. All right. Yeah, you're like me, man. If you like that, like so no, I got, testing I got a mouth tape, so I'm hostage tape, and I'm and, and I'm watching Limitless while I'm taped. All right, I <laughs> got it. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I tend to be over the top of my uh, with my biohacking. You know. No, I'm I'm, I'm going to do it though for real. Yeah, man, do it because I, I promise you, this 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 Chris Hemsworth piece, you'll really really like it like you're a guy who's taking risks you're an entrepreneur you're starting businesses you're a guy who likes to get on the edge and challenge yourself that's what it's all about it's like it's really it's very much like uh you're saying that uh grant cardone the 10x i don't know those guys but i know who grant cardone is and it's the same type of thing it's it's going for it and and risking it and losing and losing and losing until you figure out how not to lose you know and not being embarrassed about that. Uh, wait till you see it, what Hemsworth does. Plus, it's just inspirational because the dude is bejacked. You're like, okay. I, I heard I heard that uh, that the Marvel franchise made him stop filming because they were concerned about his safety. Did you hear wouldn't anything surprise like that? Me. It wouldn't surprise me because the things he was doing were legit dangerous. Okay. They weren't, yeah, this, it was legit. I don't want to do spoiler, but like all the things he was, the, the challenges that he accepted, I'm like, that's legit life threatening. Like the dude's not. All right. So, I, so, so I definitely have to watch that. If he's uh, yeah. actually, if he's going to the extreme, he's going to the extreme. Like it's worth a watch. He's going right. to the extreme. 
Yeah. Uh, and there was one, I don't want to be melodramatic, but you know, there was one that when he overcame, I actually felt emotional. It was, it was so powerful what he went through and how he overcame it. And I'm like, that that's TV right there. Like this dude's making great TV and he just overcame something on camera that was po like, really, I don't know if most people do, could do it. Do you ever He's watch like, free solo? What's it called? Free solo. Uh, uh, uh P -R -E solo. Yeah. It's, it's it, not to go off into a tangent. Just that was oh, the I only, love this. I love this. That's stuff. the only thing that I feel like I've watched where I like, a true documentary where I was, I was sweating. My heart was pounding. So the, it's basically a guy who they call it free soloing when you, when you, when you climb without any kind of gear. So he's just, it's just him. He's just climbing. And he, he is, I, I forget the, I forget which, uh, I forget what he's climbing, but he's, he's, he's free soloing an incredibly high, like very difficult thing. And, uh, and it's about his journey doing that. And, um, and yeah, you're, I mean, you're literally watching him do it and not knowing whether or not there, there's actually a really gripping, uh, uh, the, the director who's his friend. It's like, you know, you're watching this and you don't know if your friend is going <laughs> to fall, th fall through the frame, movie over. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. What network is it on? Uh, I feel like it used to be on Netflix. I don't Netflix, know if it still okay. is. Yeah. I'll watch that bad boy tonight. I, I, I watched it on the plane. It was like a great airplane watch, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I want to watch anything about falling while I'm on an airplane. All right. All right. <laughs> Sometimes they won't let those types of movies be on the, on the airplanes just because of that. Like you're never going to watch airplane, right? You're never going to watch any of those. Uh... I suppose not. Yeah. I suppose yeah. Yeah, it's too dangerous. Hey, I know you got a 19 minute out. So how are we on time? Um, I'm I'm about four or five minutes late to my next call. But oh uh, shit. Why yeah. don't we do this at our leisure? Why don't we we circle with the emails and we'll do a final 30 at both of our good times and we'll just put a button hook on this? That'd be great. Yeah, All that'd right, be great. Brother. Hey, great cool. to meet you, man. Really good meeting you too. Yeah, fellow Italian biohacker. I think it's already we're already buddies. <laughs> yeah, I, I really appreciate the time, Jordan. So yeah, I'll send you my uh, my email on um, on, on LinkedIn. And... You are listening to for the fighter in you, United Fight Alliance for the fighter in you. The information including but not limited to text, graphics, audio, images, and video contained in for the fighter in you is for informational purposes only. No material on our show is intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health care provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition or treatment.